Okay, today happens to be my transformational Thursday day. I give it to you every Thursday and a gift to myself by reflecting on everything. It says day 287. That means I've completed 10 months and one week, total of 41 weeks. And there's one thing I wanna share before I start this journey this morning, which is how do you have a healthy relationship with your scale? Because I'm telling you, if you don't have a healthy relationship with the scale, you're gonna fall back into a not a healthy relationship with your food again. And um, so for 41 weeks, if you go back every single Thursday for 41 weeks, I've done my weigh-in, but not once did I just go to the scale to weigh in. If you allow this scale, you guys, to be some kind of a superpower number, you're gonna beat yourself up, especially if you're on a journey to achieve, like if you're in the Positively Unstoppable Challenge or, or just you have a family reunion, a wedding coming up or something, you're gonna push yourself in places you shouldn't push yourself and you go back to uh, binge eating or whatever you have. And I'm telling you, I had nine years of that. So I can tell you what that looks like. Ever since my knee injury, I tried everything. And I'm telling you, um, go look at my video on uh, how to never plateau. Uh, that video I talk about eating. So I'm not going to talk about that now, but I'm going to tell you the reason I haven't had an issue in 41 weeks is because when I get on the scale, I've already tell, told you all my other exciting numbers. And those are the things you celebrate first. Make that number like, and if you look at my 41 videos, that was my least important number every single week because I cared that my numbers looked right, that I committed to my intermittent fasting every day and my DDP workout every day, my walking every day. I committed to these numbers that I'm about to share with you and have shared with you every time on the 41 day. So I encourage you never to get on that crazy wild scale unless you have looked at and celebrated other successes so that you can dilute whatever it is. If it's you lost, great. If you gained, great. Because you have the other victories on the card, right? So celebrate everything. Don't let that number be weird. Okay, and to prove that, I'm celebrating a non-scale victory this morning. I am wearing a medium top and bottoms. I went from triple X down all these sizes. This is a medium and this is a medium. And even how amazing GDPY is, this medium happens to be, this top just arrived to me, happens to be a free gift. If you're a part of the DDPY Yoga Facebook group, which is incredible, I don't know, 75,000 people up there or something, all cheering each other on, it's incredible spot. Well, I've been up there obviously for the four months I've been in DDPY. Well, I got a text last week, I wore a white for weigh-in as a celebration of my 10th month, right? If you saw that, I hadn't worn white in 25 to 30 years, maybe 40, I don't know. Um, anyhow, so I wore white, um, but that day was also special because I got an e or a private, a Facebook message, private Facebook message from someone in that uh, DPY administration part that runs the back wall. The, the message they sent me was, this is so cool, you guys. Every month we choose a member who is absolutely rocking the program and inspiring others and send them a t-shirt donated by DDPY company. This month we chose you. So, anywho, how cool is that? So, I want to make sure and show you how cool this shirt actually looks. Look at the arm, DDPY Fitness. I normally cut sleeves off t-shirts just for the record but I'm not doing on this one because look it has this cool DDPY fitness then uh, if you can see on the front on the front it says bend never break become become unstoppable 
So I love this shirt for a million reasons actually, but is that not cool that they do that kind of thing for us? So that's a pretty good non-scale victory in itself is to be noticed by them, right? So anyhow, but here's my non-scale victory. This is what I look at you guys before I get on that stupid scale. And the scale should basically be good to me always, but needless to say, I don't care what it says. Uh, last, my last BMI was 30.3 last week. So that means my BMI is down now 21.5 uh, numbers, 20, or excuse me, 12.5 numbers now. I went, I've come down 12.5 BMI numbers. So I'm um, just five points away from what the government calls is normal BMI starts at 25 points and below. So that's a number, you guys. Celebrate your number of that as it goes down. I lost another half an inch this week. That's great. That makes a total of 75 inches in these 10 months of one week. I'll take the 75 inches. It's changed my clothes, clearly. Um, my step average this week was 13,000. Uh, uh, zero ten, however you say that, thirteen thousand and ten, and which was an increase one hundred and forty seven over the week before. So all I do, I'm in the turtle in my own race. I swear, I am the turtle, and I just kept going, increasing every single week. So it's awesome. Blood pressure, another number you can count. Count this one, you guys. Blood pressure one twenty over sixty five, which happens to be down twenty eight on the top number and twenty two on the bottom number. Celebrate every one of these numbers. I'm telling you, they matter to you. Uh, of course, my DDP workouts, um, when it gave me three days off this last week, I chose three completely new workouts that I'd never tried before, which was fun. I mean, I have my favorites. You probably all do if you're using the app, right? But um, it was really fun to adventure out on the app. And of course, up on YouTube. I have over 120 videos and I have had some of you say there's so many I can't find my way. <laughs> there's actually playlists that are up there. Like there's a playlist, click on it and it'll show you what are the choices, what are the topics you're wanting to know. If it's all my way in stuff, great. It's a whole playlist for it, which would be 41 of the videos, right? But um, there's also playlists on mindset, playlists on all kinds of stuff, exercising that I was doing. So that's up there for you. Here we go. We're giving it on the scale. Once again, don't let this thing beat you up because then you are going to binge. And it's just because you gave too much power to this thing. Decide, by the way, what eating style you want. I chose the level three um, in the DDPY app. Look at the level three, phase three eating. That's the phase that I chose right from the beginning, 287 days ago. I chose it. I added intermittent fasting to it, and I've stuck to it. Even on the weeks, like last week, I wanted to lose two pounds. I lost one. Two would have given me that beautiful 80 number on my 10th month. But guess what? I decided, hey, don't get weird, Pam. Don't let yourself get weird. No week is more important than the other week. It's all about upward movement. So I'm hopefully... Hopefully I covered that well enough. Okay, let's get to the scale. Today happens to be Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. Before I get on the scale, I'll remind you I started at 250.3. Uh, let's see. I lost 79 pounds as of last week. So last week, I weighed 171.3, which by the way, I've never gained a full pound ever, and I've never plateaued during this entire time. But 171, which by the way, I would really like it to hit a 170.3, because that would be 80 points, but we'll see. Okay, so 171.3 is where we were. 171.3. What on earth? Oh my gosh. What on, I went down 2.6 pounds. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry, you guys. This is the point I always want to cry is when you get those surprise weeks. 
it really is a blessing when you have those, but I can't explain how I have them because lots of times I don't have them. Whoa, the BMI shot below the 30 mark. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I think I've said enough, right? Did you like my shirt? I'm telling you, thank you, DDPY. Thank you to those administrators of the, um, the Facebook group that um, are doing all that work to watch all of us. I love it, this shirt. Thank you so much for just being so gracious. Appreciate it.